Hey guys, <laughs> I had intentions of vlogging today and I did start a little uh, taking clips and I never vlogged. <laughs> I have such a bad habit of doing that lately. I will start vlogs and then I won't um, do them. But I did, a, um, I'm crocheting on my goose. I got its eyes in, it looks all weird. <laughs> I gotta stuff it, its head. But um, I thought I'd come on here and chat for a little bit. Devin took the kids to see his dad um, and stepmom. So I took a shower, cleaned the kitchen, <laughs> and I was sitting here watching crochet videos and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get on the chat. This will be like a crochet and chat. And I'll put some clips of whatever I took clips of earlier <laughs> um, in here too. But uh, yeah, so I did some cleaning today. I cleaned up my craft room area. I'm trying to spring clean, I guess, and declutter because I'm, I'm one of those people who definitely get stressed out by clutter, big time. So um, I've been going through all of my stuff uh, none, nothing of Jesse's or Devin's, um, and I've decluttered. We've already took two, um, diaper boxes of stuff to the thrift store, and then right now I got a whole bunch of stuff in there in my <laughs> laundry basket that I gotta put in the clothes in a bag, and I gotta find a box. And then, um, I got a tote that, uh, it's one of those medium little size totes like this one right here that I'm using as a table <laughs> because I'm fancy. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if that's a 30 gallon or what, but one of those full also of donation stuff. Um, so I'm doing good. I got a checklist on my phone of each room of the house and what I want to go through in that room. Like in the bedroom, I have the dresser and the closet that I need to go through and clean out. Um, in my craft room, I had the bookcase. The table which included under the table which is where i had a bunch of stuff stored um a fabric shelf and all that kind of stuff so i'm just going to slowly do that one little project at a time and clean out stuff because i'm just so sick of cluttered stuff and i got a lot of yarn too that i'm going to go through and i don't know if i'm going to do a giveaway or if i'm going to sell it maybe like in mystery boxes or something but um i just really want to get rid of some stuff so i could clear my brain and um be a little bit more at peace but yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but I took my Christmas cards down finally. Uh, and up there, I moved one of my pictures. It's a real painting that I got at the thrift store that wasn't there in my office area. I moved it in here, mostly to cover up some messed up paint. <laughs> and then above it, I hung some cards that I got. Two of them is from my great aunt who has passed away. And one is from a viewer. Because um, they, they just kind of went with that picture. And then up here... This, the wall is really dirty. I <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> I gotta wash the walls. But um, it's a bunch of cards that I've gotten throughout the, la the last five years that are kind of cottage <laughs> Um, Just like peaceful looking that I'm gonna make like a mural right there of that kind of cards. Every time I get one that has something to do with that aesthetic, I'm gonna hang it there because I just like to st stand there and look at it. You know, it's just, I'm a visual person when it comes to like that. Um, but yeah, so, uh, and then I'll hang up new cards as I get them, because I, I like to keep cards out for a while, uh, to just enjoy them, you know, <laughs> but, um, oh, I got, I got some cards, to, uh, I got a birthday card, and Jesse got a birthday card from Esmeralda, and she has a YouTube channel, I'll link it below if I can remember, uh, and it was so sweet that she sent us both one, uh, and now I have her address, so I can save it, I think I already had it, but I'm never sure. I'm always saving people's addresses, <laughs> YouTubers, so that I have it, and then I end up having it like 30 times. <laughs> but, um, and I also got the bag that I ordered from Brittany, which is wool makes. I only curtain below too. Really pretty. I've already used it, so it's already wrinkly. It's a box bottom drawstring bag. It's really pretty. I knew I wanted it as soon as I saw it, because I love rainbow and I love pink, so this is best of both. <laughs> But uh, I just love it so much. I already started using it. It's, it's holding my goose. That's why it's laying on the couch. But uh, yeah, and I'm working on my goose. And I'm just waiting for them to come home. <laughs> I don't know when they're coming home. But I did make cracked chicken today for dinner. It was amazing. Let's see. Okay, I'm on an increased drum. Try not to get myself confused <laughs> and mess my goose up. But um. Yeah, I don't know what else I was going to say. I think I took a clip earlier of the baby, June, and I took a clip of my string of pearls because it's already got a lot of new growth on it. 
And I was gonna try to record some more birds outside, but let's see here. Um, I kept accidentally scaring them away, but that's okay. There was a cardinal out there at one point, but I scared it off. But uh, that's alright. And let's see here. I got fabric cut for the next bag update. I got the outer fabric, the liner fabric, and all the batting cut. I'm gonna start sewing on Saturday. I believe it's gonna be 21 bags, and they're going to be. There's one drawstring bag because <laughs> I made one extra one last update, but I ran out of labels, so I didn't finish it. All I have to do is add the label, and it'll be done. Um, so there'll be one drawstring bag, and then there will be a variety of sizes of quilted zipper project bags. I think they're all zipper. Let me, yeah, and some of them, three of them will have matching notion pouches. And then the next update, I already have the fabric cut for it. Um, the next update in a few more weeks will be, I think six or seven bigger totes. I think they're 14 by 16. Um, and some just regular zipper notion pouches. And it's all fabrics that you've seen recently except there's a couple that I haven't used because uh, I'm trying to use up some scraps that I have on a shelf in there. And uh, then I'll be getting some new fabric, hopefully. Um, I still have a Michael's gift card I still haven't got to use because we, we weren't able to go on our anniversary trip. And um, there's not a Michael's anywhere near us. So it's gonna be a while before I get to use that Michael's card. I keep going online to use it, but I just, I just hate the idea of having to pay shipping or tax, you know, I have to pay taxes the way, but, and you can't get like a good view of what's actually in the store. I think I messed up. No, no, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to crochet and chat with a, um, on an increase, increase round. All right. This is as far as I read on the pattern. I only read that far. So now I have to look at the pattern to see what I got to do next. But there's my goose so far. It needs to be stuffed and it needs its beak, which I'll make that, um, after I finish the body, probably. Uh, I'll make all the parts that's white. So it will be the body and the wings, I guess. Um, and then I'll go back and make the yellow parts, which is the feet and the beak. And then I gotta make the bonnet. <laughs> there she is so far, my little mother goose. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna sit here and work on that a little bit more. What else do I need to do? I cleaned up the kitchen pretty good. There's some dishes drying that needed to be hand washed. I unloaded the dishwasher and then reloaded it. I washed all the bottles. The drying rack is right there. You just can't see it all the way. Um, I took a shower. There's a load of towels in the dryer, but it could just stay there. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, I could do that tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to go back to watching my videos and I'm watching right now KS Mom Crochets and uh, I'm almost done with my watch later list because it gets so full sometimes where I don't get to watch videos for a few days and then I have like 60 videos I gotta go back and watch um, so I'm gonna sit here and finish watching my last few that's on uh, my watch later and then let's see here I'm not sure when this video will come out it'll come out whenever I remember to, put, to edit it and put it out tomorrow which is Thursday I'm putting out no case your name 172 is already recorded. I got to edit it and then Friday is gonna be stitcher library um, For my project it's in this bag right here Let me grab it. Oh goodness. It's in this bag that I made forever ago. This is a Japanese knot bag I was gonna start making them for my shop, but it's a complicated pattern to sew <laughs> and um, I Don't want to do that <laughs> but um, It has a snap on it, too but uh, yeah, most Japanese knot bags have sewn handles and I, there wasn't like a shortcut way to do that without having to do top stitching on the outside, which I didn't, to close it, which I didn't lock. So I, I made it with handles, but it was a really tricky way because you have to put them, the way you have to do it is just tricky. Well, you know, this was when I first started making bags like this. I bet I could make it a lot easier now, now that I know more about making bags. But, um, I don't know if I will. But anyways, Japanese knot bags, you put the long handle through the short handle. And then you can carry it on your wrist like that. 
you could crochet while walking when I was healthier and lost a lot of weight that's what I would do I would carry this around and crochet while I was doing my steps but uh, whatever that's a different Ella different ear different me <laughs> um, so yeah I don't know what else it's already it's almost eight <laughs> so I'm sure Devin will be coming home soon and um, I go back to being a mom because <laughs> right now I'm just Ella and I need moments like this every now and then to where I can be me instead of my identity being 100% mom. Um, yeah. I tell Devin that sometimes. I'm, I'm like, I just feel like I'm mom. <laughs> I'm not me anymore. So that's usually when he goes somewhere and gives me a break. <laughs> but uh, it was nice. It's nice to take a shower without Jesse coming in there and asking a question or peeing or something. And um, without having to worry about them killing each other <laughs> while I'm out. But uh, out of the room. But yeah. So I guess that's it. Oh, I decorated my cart with all kinds of stickers i got this sticker down here from the place that i get my labels for my bags and it's a little cat holding a crochet or a yarn heart and it's got her name underneath it which is uh ever emblem yeah she had another name but i can't remember now it's like miss miss michigan something i can't remember now but these are just stickers that uh, i got in happy mail these are happy mail stickers these ones down here are 90s themed stickers that my sister made on her Cricut. And there's more behind there. And then I got some Halloween stickers that I got in Happy Mail. And over here's some more Happy Mail stickers. And this is one my sister made, Spice Girl CD. Sister made that one and that one. And uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd put some cute stickers on there and decorate it. <laughs> But uh, that's my cart. It really needs to be organized. And this is this was a Happy Mail gift. It's got my name on it and my YouTube name on it. I just got stuff everywhere. <laughs> I need to go through that and clean it out. I do that sometimes and I just haven't done it in a little while. But I'm going to hop off here because I just wanted to crochet a little bit and chat with you guys because I like talking. <laughs> and uh, I will insert the clips that I took either before this or after this or somewhere. <laughs> you will have seen them at some point. And I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys. What are you doing, Zizi? Are you wearing strawberries? Are you wearing strawberries? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll get you back. I'll pick you back up. Juniper. Are you a ladybug? Got a ladybug on your belly. And two ladybugs on your feet. Look at those ladybug feet. They're so cute. You know who's cuter? You are cuter. You are cuter. Hello, hello. <laughs> I have a lot of people asking um, how Jessie's doing and like, you know, why Jessie's not around <laughs> in the videos, of course. He's around in the house, obviously. Um, he's old enough now that he can decide whether or not he wants to be on the camera. <laughs> and, uh, a lot of times he doesn't want to be on camera so um i respect that you know if he doesn't want me to show him i'm not gonna show him uh but he's fine <laughs> he's almost done with kindergarten which is crazy he's six now his birthday was on may 1st and he is just being a little boy he's you know living his best life <laughs> but um yeah so he does want to be on the camera sometimes when i when he's on the videos he wants to be there when he's not on them he doesn't want to be there so, um, it's that simple. <laughs> I'll probably do, you know, I'll do the same thing with June. Um, I, you know, I don't want to share my, overshare my kids. But, uh, I gotta share some of them. They're so cute. She's laying right here. <laughs> I just changed her pajamas. She has outgrown all her cute ones. These ones are all zero to three month. And she's outgrown them all. This is one of my favorite ones. I'm keeping it. <laughs> but she outgrew this one. Yeah. You outgrew, I'm just realizing, whatever happened to your strawberry one? It wasn't strawberry, it was cherries. Oh, that must have been a newborn size. I must have already put that up somewhere. I don't know, I have to look for it. <laughs> Anyways, she outgrew all her cute ones. I don't know, I had to pull out. We only have a few um, three to six month ones that were gifted to us, and I bought a couple. Um, 
So I gotta buy some more pajamas. She's got plenty of onesies. The onesies that are three months, zero, three months still fit her. It's just her legs are too long. She's gonna be tall, just like butter. Are you gonna be tall? Yes, you are. Cause all these ones, the legs are just too short. But I'm saving all the ones that I love. I already got a pile. <laughs> I got a, in this closet here, there's a big tote, one of those big totes full of stuff from Jesse when he was a baby. So she, ooh, I have one too. But um, some things you just can't get rid of, it's hard. But anyways, she's about to cry, so I'm gonna go. <laughs>